Hello, everyone, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear Makita enthusiasts. I warmly welcome you to this new video. It's great to have you here again. You've requested it, and today's the day. It's right in front of us on the table. The new Makita 18-volt cordless pruning saw, the Makita DUC-101. In today's video, we'll explore what this sweet cordless chainsaw has to offer, so let's not waste any time. Let's start right after the usual intro. But before we begin, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for free and activate the notification bell to never miss a new video in the future. You can find the current prices below in the video description. Thank you very much for your cooperation, and without further ado, let's get started. In addition to all the previously introduced Makita cordless chainsaws ranging from 18 to 40 volts, I'll also link those videos up here on the info card, today I have for you the absolute mini device from the 18 volt series, namely the Makita DUC-101. In today's video, we'll take a detailed look at what this compact mini chainsaw really has to offer. On the product box, we find the typical Makita illustration, the name in multiple languages on the left side, short specifications on the top, and the name at the bottom right. Furthermore, there's nothing else to see. Therefore, I'd say let's take a look at the contents of the package. As usual, we have the typical stack of papers consisting of the user manual, safety instructions, and declaration of conformity. Also included is a small bottle of chain oil totaling 100 milliliters. Additionally, and positively, we have a sharpening guide for sharpening the chain. And last but not least, of course, the actual device, the Makita DUC-101. Yes, here it is, the smallest cordless chainsaw from Makita, the DUC-101 pruning saw. And that's exactly how I imagined it. Super compact, super handy, and not really heavy. I would say let's start with the size and weight right away because as you can see, this compact chainsaw is definitely quite small and handy. Let's take a quick measurement. Here, the diagonal of the DUC-101 adds up to a total of 350 millimeters, which means the device is relatively short and also quite lightweight. So let's quickly weigh the tool alone. As you can see, it's only 1260 grams. With the large 5 ampere hour battery, we reach a gross weight of around 1900 grams. In combination with the large 18 volt 5 ampere hour battery, which undoubtedly guarantees a lot of runtime, the Makita DUC-101 has a nice centered balance point. As you can see, it's approximately in the handle area, which means that the saw doesn't need to be balanced during work, which is extremely beneficial for the forearm. Regarding the handling, I must also say that, in my opinion, the cordless pruning saw is quite ergonomic and comfortable to hold. The handle, as you can see, is well-shaped, which means it can be gripped comfortably and securely. In terms of ergonomics, it's really top-notch, and it's all in black with a rubberized texture. So the handle is super non-slip, and I can guide it safely and effectively. In addition, in my opinion, extremely practical, directly below, also made of black plastic, we find a branch guard. This ensures that we can go deep into trees and bushes without worrying about getting completely scratched from below because we have a protective cover here that prevents the branches from cutting our fingers even when we go deep into trees and bushes. At the back, we have our 18 volt battery. As I mentioned, it's an 18 volt LXT device, which means we necessarily need an 18 volt battery to operate the tool. Preferably with a high ampere rating such as 5 ampere hours so that we can run the tool for a while. Let's continue on the front side at the heart of this cordless chainsaw, namely the installed chain and the bar. Since this is a cordless pruning saw, the bar is naturally short. Specifically, the Makita DUC-101 has a 100mm long bar. The chain, on the other hand, is tensioned and changed using the quick tensioner mounted on the left side, which, in my opinion, is quite practical as we can do it all without tools. That means we have this plastic lever to unfold. Once done, turn to the left, loosen the nut accordingly, and then we can directly replace the chain or the bar. The positive aspect here is, as mentioned before, the Makita DUC-101 can be operated completely without tools. 
That means both changing the chain and tensioning the chain can be done without a screwdriver or wrench because we have an automatic chain tensioner built in, which is controlled by a spring to ensure continuous tensioning of the chain. Associated with that is the efficient 80TXL chain, which we already know from the Makita 40 volt chainsaw. As mentioned before, it can be switched quickly and at the same time with the included sharpening guide, we can easily sharpen the chain if it becomes dull. On the other side of the chainsaw, however, as you can see, there's the chain oil tank. Yes, you heard it right. The Makita Cordless Chainsaw DUC-101 has an automatic chain lubrication system. This means it's not necessary to regularly drip chain oil onto the chain. Instead, we flip up the chain oil tank once. It's made of transparent or milky plastic where we can directly see how much chain oil is left in the tank and it can hold a total of 55 milliliters. The next advantage, the oil tank has a toolless quick release. This means we can press it once and it flips up, allowing us to open the cover. This brings the great advantage that even if there is the same oil film on it, we can still easily open and close the cover. The Makita DUC-101 has a lot to offer in terms of safety as well. This starts with the user's safety, specifically with the contact protection. It's located at the front and is the black folding cover. This ensures that we're protected when cutting branches and logs, meaning if it folds up and if we accidentally slip while holding the chainsaw, our hand doesn't land directly on the chain but on the contact protection. It's extremely practical in that regard. However, I suspect that many people may not like this contact protection, this flap up here. As far as I can see, it's not easily removable. In addition, there's the deep discharge protection and furthermore, the device is also certified with XPT, which stands for Extreme Protection Technology. In my opinion, it's also extremely practical for a garden tool because if it starts to rain, the chainsaw can withstand it without any problems. The question then arises, what does this device really have to offer? And I can tell you definitely quite a bit. Let's start up here with the motor, or rather the BL logos, because the device obviously has a built-in brushless motor that's efficient and powerful. It's located here in the housing, and according to Makita, it has an impressive power rating of 350 watts. In connection with that, the chainsaw achieves a maximum chain speed of a remarkable 8 meters per second, which is sufficient to fulfill the purpose of this saw. In practice, I tested the chainsaw in its typical area of use, which means cutting smaller branches and smaller trees. I started with smaller branches ranging from 20 to 45 millimeters in diameter, which posed no problem for this chainsaw at all because the cuts were performed within a few seconds and there were no difficulties in terms of performance. Furthermore, I must say that the handling of the chainsaw is very, very good when used with one hand. In my opinion, the device is by no means too heavy at 1.9 kilograms. The handle is ergonomic, allowing the device to be guided securely and very comfortable with one hand. This also means that over time, when you want to work overhead, for example, you don't have to take regular breaks because of the device being too heavy or uncomfortable. I also tested the chainsaw on significantly larger logs to assess its maximum performance up to 95 millimeters in diameter. As I mentioned before, the device is designed for 100 millimeters and has a 100 millimeter bar. And I must say that the chainsaw is definitely equipped with enough power to easily cut through 100 millimeters as well. That means in the test, I also didn't encounter any difficulties with thick tree trunks like hardwood, oak, or even while applying a bit more pressure on the chainsaw. However, it's important to keep in mind that it's a battery-powered device, so if you apply too much pressure, the overload protection kicks in. But I have to say, for such a compact device, the chainsaw definitely has enough power to cut through larger logs. The only thing that stood out to me negatively in the test is the unlocking mechanism, because during longer periods of work, it can become slightly uncomfortable and press on the thumb due to its, in my opinion, short length. Other than that, I have no complaints about this device. Overall, I can say that those who are looking for a compact, handy, battery-powered chainsaw and don't need to work with logs larger than 100 millimeters will definitely not be disappointed by the Makita DUC-101. 
In my opinion, the device is sufficiently powerful to easily cut through 100 mm thick logs. It's super handy and compact, making it extremely comfortable to handle in my opinion. Alternatively, for those who need something more, I would recommend the previously introduced Makita DUC254. So far, so good with this chainsaw. Now, I'm curious to hear your feedback, so please feel free to write your thoughts in the comments below as this concludes the video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices of this great tool in the video description below. Thank you so much for your attention. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.